Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And today we are going to show you guys a little bit about basic 70 volt wiring and uh, how to wire up a basic 70 volt system. Nathan, so what do we have here? Uh, what's going on with all these wires and kind of kind of guide me through this process of how 70 volt kind of works? Sure, sure. So uh, we found the average person does not know what 70 volt audio is. They don't know what 8 ohm or low impedance audio is. So we wanted to just kind of do a real basic uh, uh, diagram or way to show you guys of how a 70 volt system could work for you in your application. Uh, we can kind of picture here a small restaurant, a small office, a small um, you know bar uh, with an outdoor patio or with a uh, you know speakers in the restroom, anywhere where uh, in this particular case where you might need two zones of audio. Um, without getting too technical about how 70 volt works, um, rather than there just being an impedance value assigned to the speaker, like an 8 ohm or 4 ohm, and then you connect that, that to an amplifier, there's actually a transformer inside of the amplifier first that steps up the voltage and then sends that wattage down a line uh, into the transformer at the speaker. Uh, this transformer sometimes is built into the speaker, sometimes mounted on the speaker, uh, but in a true 70 volt system it's always there. There are also at that point are what we call transformer taps where you set the wattage of uh, where, how much wattage you want that speaker to receive. Uh, the transformer at that tap steps down that uh, voltage back down to low impedance gotcha. to power your speaker. Okay. So you can kind of think of those transformer taps kind of like a governor on a car kind of thing. Right. Like it's only going to get that amount of wattage right. uh, when you have yeah. it set to that level. So what we have here is our uh, MA30BT Bluetooth mixer amp, which has a 70 volt output, has one 70 volt output. You're normally just gonna find one output on a 70 volt mixer amp. You're gonna have a common, uh, which is the terminal for your negative, your common, and then you're gonna have a 70 volt positive terminal. That's where you connect your positive wire. Red, uh, most of the time. Yeah, red normally. So from there, you can then wire out to for all intensive purposes, as many 70 volt speakers as you might need. Wow. So, yeah, exactly. So if you had an eight ohm speaker, um, it would be eight ohm, and there's an eight ohm output at the yeah, amplifier. Yeah. You can only hook up one speaker. Such a shame. Uh, so what ends up happening in those cases is if you need lots of speakers, you need lots of amp channels, you need lots of cabling. Whereas with 70 volt, you take your output, connect it to your speaker, set your desired tap setting, go on to the next speaker, on to the next speaker. You can do that as many times as you need. You can also add as many in-wall volume controls as you need. Okay. We just have to keep an eye on what is the wattage of the amplifier. Okay. Uh, and we always want to leave about 15 to 20 percent headroom on an amplifier whenever possible. So we've got an MA30 here today. So that means we've got 30 watts available. We want to add a little bit of headroom though and uh, not exceed what the amplifier can do. Gotcha, and what's the benefits of doing that? I mean, is, does that kind of make the lifespan a little bit longer for the amplifier? Because most, most people, you know, say I have 30 watts available, I'm gonna use every single you know, yeah, watt. I paid you know. for it. Yeah, yeah I paid exactly. for it. I'm gonna use every single watt available to me. So yeah, I mean, I, I get that question a lot. So kind of, what's the benefits to doing that? Yeah, sure. So the reason why you want to leave headroom is the same reason to a degree why you don't drive your car at 120 <laughs> miles an hour every day. That's great. You know, your speedometer yeah. will go all the way around, but yeah. that engine isn't going to be one to run at max capacity day yeah. in and day out. Uh, that's going to lead to failure, to braking, and without getting too that. complicated, it's also bad on the audio side of things to have things dimed to, to 10 or right. to 11 uh, all the time. Go. Yeah, eventually that can cause, you know, that causes distortion yeah. uh, and unpleasant uh, audio signal to be listening to. Gotcha. So today we've added two uh, inline 70 volt transformer, or sorry, uh, inline 70 volt volume controls. Uh, so what we can imagine, like I mentioned, is say this run over here is the inside speakers at a restaurant, okay. uh, and say this is the private dining area, okay. or this is the restroom speakers, or this is the outdoor patio. Uh, when this amplifier is running, 
I can adjust this dial to whatever level I want these speakers to be without impacting uh, this run over here. There can even be additional. All I do in that case is actually wire the positive wires, two positive wires from this amplifier out to the volume control. And on your volume controls, you'll have an amp input, positive and negative, and then a speaker output positive and negative. Pretty simple. Yeah, so one side's for the, the feed from the amp, one side's for the feed to the speakers. Uh, if you're doing more than two, you might want to contact us. There's other ways that we can connect these volume controls, uh, paralleling volume controls, yeah. which can get a little bit more complicated, and it's generally a good idea to have a chat with us when you're doing that, just so we can make sure everything works appropriately for you. Uh, but basically, this type of system, like I mentioned, will allow you to set the levels uh, on these different volume controls 100% independent of the other. Uh, basically just set the main volume at the amplifier to where you want it, make your adjustments, and away you go. These can be uh, in ceiling speakers mounted directly into the sheetrock. These can be wall mount speakers. These can be pendant speakers. These can be big, huge stadium speakers. As long as the amplifier has the wattage available to drive what we need, and as long as we haven't exceeded the, vo um, the wattage uh, range of the volume control, we're good to go. Man, that sounds easy, easy and simple. Um, and like you said, if, if it gets a little bit too complicated past, you know, two volume controls or um, if you're just mind boggled by all of this, feel free to, you know, give us a shout and uh, we're here to guide you through the process. So. Absolutely, absolutely. The, um, the transformer taps on the speakers themselves can be a dial on the back it also can be a series of multicolored uh, wires coming off the back of the speaker. Uh, that applies to many of our packages you might find on our online store or on Amazon. Uh, basically, uh, the same concept applies. Uh, add up the wattages of your speakers on those taps okay. and make sure you're under 15 or 20% headroom uh, on your amplifier and always keep speakers in, and uh, volume controls in what's called parallel. Uh, just to throw it back to fourth grade science class. Yeah. <laughs> Parallel just means positive to positive, negative to negative. If you've got you know, a red wire in most cases, you want that to go to your positive, a black wire in most cases to your common, uh, which is your negative. So very simple connections, easy to use. And uh, if you do have questions, you're always welcome to get back in touch with us. Um, this is a system that has two zones, um, but the same input source going to both places. Mm -hmm. If you need different input sources going to different zones, give us a ring. We do have many other options available that we can help design that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reach out to me directly at Nathan at ProAcoustics.com. And I'm Colton at ProAcoustics.com. That's with an I, Colton or hit us up on our uh, 800 number, 888-256-4112, um, or uh, go to our website, proacousticsusa.com. Uh, make sure and leave us a note below if you like what we're talking about here, if you have any thoughts, if you have any recommendations or questions or things you'd like to see us to uh, talk about here, we're happy to accommodate as best we can. And uh, make sure and check out our website, check out our uh, Amazon store, our eBay store. See Everything. If we, see, yeah, see if you can find anything that you like from us. And uh, other than that, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.